The Sunlight Supply online lighting tool will assist you in planning the layout of your grow room. The online lighting tool will calculate the average luminance, number of reflectors needed, and lighting power density based on variables entered by the user. Such variables include the type of reflector used, the dimensions of your space, surface reflectance, and desired lighting levels. The online lighting layout tool can be found on sunlightsupply.com under the Tools tab or directly at sunlightsupply.com slash tools slash lighting tool. When you access the online lighting layout tool, you will see eight blue tabs to the left side of the screen. The first four tabs are required to fill out in order to calculate your room layout. The first tab is the Choose a Reflector tab. This is where you will choose a reflector you would like to use or are currently using. Under this tab, you have the ability to choose all of the available Sun System reflectors offered through Sunlight Supply. Once you choose a reflector, you will see a part number for that reflector as well as a Show Image button to preview what the reflector looks like. For this demonstration, we will choose the DE Boss reflector. The light loss factor will be left at a default of 0.95. Changing the light loss factor is recommended for growers who know how much light loss they have either from their ballasts or from time depreciation based on lamp data. Now that the reflector has been chosen and previewed, we will move to the Room Dimensions tab. In this demonstration, we will be working from a 40 foot by 20 foot by 10 foot room. The X dimension should always be the larger number entered for a more accurate calculation. In this demonstration of a 40 foot by 20 foot by 10 foot room, the X dimension will be 40, the Y dimension will be 20, and the Z dimension will be 10. We will also be working on a work plane height of 3 feet. We will be working off of a 2 foot planter sitting on a 1 foot bench. This is the canopy height of where we will be measuring our light. The suspension height is how far from the ceiling you want to hang your lights. This measurement is from the ceiling to the bottom of the fixture. We will leave this at a default of 1.5 feet. Now we move to the surface reflectance tab. This is set at a default of 0, 90, 50. At any point of using the lighting layout tool, you can click on the bottom help tab and select the help button. This will open up a help window that will better describe these different variables. Under the surface reflectance section, you will see an average percentage of reflectance of different types of surfaces. If you know the type of surface you want to use or are currently using, feel free to enter these values into the surface reflectance tab now. For this demonstration, we will leave this in the default setting. Under the desired lighting levels tab, you will enter your desired illuminance, number of reflectors, or targeted lighting power density. In this demonstration, we will be working from a desired level of illuminance. Use the calculator on the help tab to help determine the average amount of lux needed to reach the desired PPFD, or photosynthetic photon flux density, for your grow room. In this demonstration, we will use 45,000 lux. This will give us an estimated PPFD of 675. It is also important to choose the correct lamp being used when calculating the amount of lux to PPFD. The default lamp is double-ended, but the calculations change by lamp type. Once the desired illuminance is entered, the tool will calculate the number of reflectors needed as well as the lighting power density. For this demonstration, we are leaving the desired average illuminance at minimum allowable. Once these first four tabs are filled out, you can go to the last tab and print your layout. Once you click on the print preview button, you will see a few more fields that can be filled out to name and describe your grow room project. You will also see the reflector chosen, the dimensions of your room, the reflectance of your room, and results of your average illuminance, number of reflectors needed, and the lighting power density of your grow space. This will also show the layout of your lights in rows and columns. These are measured on center of the hanging reflectors. Once you are satisfied with the results of your layout, click the print button. You also have the option to send this layout as an email. Just fill out the appropriate fields and an email will be sent with a link to the layout. Once again, this helpful online lighting layout tool can be found on sunlightsupply.com under the tools tab or directly at sunlightsupply.com slash tools slash lighting tool. Thank you for choosing Sunlight Supply.